Okay, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm back with this video because I needed to just, you know, get on. I always, like, when I get on, I always have a, sorry, yeah, I got a cold. But I always have, like, some kind of something to say about some karmics or about you know some you know karmic activity or something you know and first and first and mainly i always try to let everybody know that everything i talk about anything i talk about is through experience and through experience only i'm talking about stuff that i don't know about right um, so, you know, by me talking about things that I don't know about, a lot of people don't. They talk about things that they heard somebody else talk about, or they heard, you know, or they heard about somebody or something. But, you know, for a long time, I've always used my discernment or, you know, my intuition. So, I talk about things that are, that need to be said that people don't want to hurt. <laughs> and in that case, that has sometimes um, put me in a position to have to be alone and have to walk by myself because a lot of people do not agree with what I'm trying to uh, help, you know, trying to help with. A lot of people don't agree with my messages. A lot of people don't agree with what I say. A lot of people... Just they just won't agree, and that's fine, and that's fine. It's just you know, that's just the I mean, that's just the point. Sometimes you have to be able to do things on your own by yourself and alone, not meaning that people some people don't listen to you, or you know, you don't. Not meaning that you don't have people that care for you. You know, they mostly just don't care for what you're talking about. But if you are about what you're talking about, then they're just not caring for you. See, that was actually pretty rude. You see what I mean? Okay, you still not see. So, like I said, <laughs> you know, whenever people don't agree with what you're saying or... Because I know in, in a lot of my other videos, I, you know, I would get a bunch of disturbances. Only because that's just the rudeness or that's just, you know, a... Uh, 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 an entity trying to let it be known that they want you to shut the F up or they don't want you to talk about certain things or they don't want you to do or say certain stuff. That's why I said a lot of people, a lot of principalities, a lot of spirits, a lot of other things, entities, whatnot, will not agree with Whatever it is that you're talking about, which is fine. That's why you have to be able to walk this green mile by yourself. Green, yellow, purple, blue, red mile by yourself. However it may go. You know, and even although, although you people may think that you're alone or walking alone what people fail to realize is you getting your information from somewhere so therefore that means you're not alone while they're thinking that you are alone they must understand that your information come from somewhere 
Okay? Just like, you know, your information coming, yo, listen, whenever you can get on a platform and just speak about things, 515 on my timer, and just speak about things that you, that people normally wouldn't speak about, things outside of the matrix, You getting your information from somewhere. You getting your information mostly and more than likely from the most high. Everything that you, everything you understand. Because he's the one that gave you that understanding. I don't know if I, I don't know if I ever told y'all that I had a, um, it was a dream. And it was me and my my he's a uh he was a false flame okay i'm just calling him a false flame and we were in this like 606 on my time and we were in this guard garden right and it looked like it was the garden of you know what you would call the garden of eden and there was a tree okay and this tree bird a lot of fruit on it right and he was sitting there munching, munching, munching down on this apple, baby. And I, when I, when I saw him doing this, I'm looking at him, and just I just felt so uneasy. And and maybe it was just the story of the Adam and Eve, but I understood, you know, you seen what happened to Adam and Eve after they ate that fruit. I knew in my spirit, man, I'm not eating that apple. You better not hand it over here either. Because I'm going to throw it. I'm not eating it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not eating that. And, and I feel like the Most High gave, you know, he sent out all these gifts amongst, you know, a certain kind of people. For us to come out of the matrix. For us to come out of the way of the world. He gave us these gifts and gave us this this understanding. Now, I'm not going to say a knowledge. Because the tree in the Bible that, that Adam and Eve ate from was the tree of knowledge. Knowledge of good and evil, right? Basically, the knowledge of knowing right from wrong, right? So, and I said, I'm not eating. I'm not eating that. I'm not eating that apple. Don't even throw it over here because I'm going to throw it away. Not that I was throwing my knowledge away, but I understood. You get me? I understood, like. There was an understanding that I just understood. I can understand why this is this or why, you know, this is the way this is or why this is that. You know, I can understand it, you know. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of us. did eat of that tree the knowledge of good and evil you know your right from your wrong now i want y'all to understand something <laughs> a lot of us did eat from that tree because why because they didn't want to be broke they always wanted to have money they wanted to live in the world they wanted to be a a, a part of the world they wanted the clout. They wanted the money. They wanted the greed. They wanted everything that they saw that the man had. They wanted the cars. They wanted the clothes. They wanted the house. They didn't want to be broke. They didn't want to struggle. This is why most people these days is eating of that tree. But understand something. 
That tree is of the knowledge of good and evil. Good and evil. You're making a choice to be good or evil. The Lord said, don't eat that tree. It will give you the knowledge of good and evil. It will give you the knowledge of right and wrong. You eating the you eating the, the, the apple of that tree, you're acknowledging the fact that you're going to do wrong. You're going to be wrong. You're going to make the wrong choices. All because what? You don't want to be broke. All because what? You don't want to trust in the most high to provide you with the things that you need. That's basically what it is. Like, you don't want to trust the most high because what? You have lost hope in, you know, in 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 God because what? All of the drugs, the violence, the all that shit was put there. All that shit was salted on your life on purpose so you can stop believing in the most high and go eat of that tree. To get the knowledge of good and evil. And once you ate that tree. You acknowledge the fact that you're going to do wrong. You're not going to believe in the most high. That was your deal with Satan. Who you think he was. What you think. What you think he was. What do you think the serpent was doing in the tree. He was making a deal. With even Adam. You eat of this tree. You going to know everything. You going to be almost like God. You going to be like God. Not like God. God said you you can never be like me. You can never. You can you can never. Now by not eating of that tree, you understand more. You understand better. You understand the way of the most high instead of the way of the world. It wouldn't be it is what it is. It would be this is purpose. They purposely did these things so that I could stop believing in the most high. 1229 on my time. They purposely put these things, crack drugs, um, you know, entities, did curses on you, all that purposely so that you won't believe in the most high so that you won't believe that he will provide you the things that he needs but throughout all history he's always said i will give you what you need throughout history throughout the bible it shows you want some meat i give you a quail you know you you want some you want some food? I got you here. I'll make it rain from heaven. I'll make I'll, I'll make manna rain. So you can make bread and things or whatever, whatever it is that you need. I will provide you the things that you need. But But, you know, when, when, you know, Satan, he, he asked for another Job moment, except on the entire community, on the entire planet, on the entire world to say, you know, hey, let me dangle all this in their face. And if they take it, they belong to me. If they don't, they belong to you. Let's make this deal. The Lord say, who is for me will be with me and will understand what. You know, whatever it is, you know, I got going. They're, they'll understand me. They'll understand what it is that I'm standing for or what it is that I'm, you know, what I'm doing here. They'll understand it's a purpose. Everything is purposeful. Everything is what it's supposed to be because it's supposed to be. In the world, they just say it is what it is. Like, oh, well, it is what it is. Now, if you sitting up here like, oh, well, then, you know, then, well, then it just is what it is. 
that means you under you gotta know or acknowledge the fact that there is something wrong and that there's something that is supposed to be you know like you have to you you have to you have to understand that for you to just because you're just just like well it is what it is like you're giving up it is what it is like you're giving up like oh well nah <laughs> nah you know there's a purpose you know, when you ate that apple, you acknowledge the fact that there is right and wrong. And you chose to do wrong. You chose wrong by eating that apple. You chose wrong. You chose to go after the money and the fame and the world and whatever it is that the world had to offer. You chose to go after those things. Not what the Most High had for you. If that makes sense. And then would make it so bad people made the fact that you have a house or a, a car, a nice house, a nice car, a nice, you know, uh, you know, you live in this, this particular life. They made that seem like that was the life the most high had for them. When they made that seem like that was, they gave, they gave those particular items a status and said that God gave me this because of no particular reason, but God gave me this, you know, God gave me this great life, but behind closed doors, you getting your ass beat behind closed doors. You are drunkard behind closed doors. You, you turn up cocaine. Behind closed doors, you're doing pornographic movies, but you have all of this stuff saying that God gave it to you. And you know you lying. I mean, I'm just saying, like, understand, understand, you know, understand what I'm talking about. Understand that the Most High does provide. But you don't have to go sell your ass to have it. For the most high to give it to you, you ain't got to sell your ass for it. For the most high to give it to you, you ain't got to sell drugs for it. For the most high to give it to you, you ain't got to play thousands of people, thousands of a congregation out of money for it. Okay? For the most high to give it to you, you ain't got to pass a plate around. Okay? Okay, so in the community of the 12 tribes, the Levites were the the ones that had access to the Most High, right? They are the ones, that was the community that had like a certain um, something in them to where they can speak directly to the Most High, right? This is the Levites, um, the Levi tribe. So, in this, in this community, the Levites never, like, they only, um, dealt with the most high. They never, they didn't have, they didn't have any jobs. They didn't have any, like, ways of making money. Like you had your, you had each tribe had their certain thing that they did. It was the, it was a community. Each tribe had their certain thing and each tribe had worked together on these certain things. Right. And so people like when, when people, um, had extra or they had, you know, when the other tribes had extra to give, they give it all to the, they give it to the Levites. So the Levites would have too, because the, the Levites only focused on whatever it is that the most high needed or most high wanted or what he had to get out to the other people, right? To the other tribes. So that was their job. Okay. They didn't have to ask because the most high told the other tribes, Hey, you know, 
you get your portion for your tribe and you get your portion for your tribe and you get your portion for your tribe. The rest you give to the Levites because they're going to be working for me to provide for you. You know what I'm saying? Like to provide information and understanding and things of that nature, you know, things like that, that each tribe had their jobs. Each tribe had their jobs. And so that was how they, I think that's, that, yeah, that's how they trusted the most high. They trusted the most high to provide. And that was way back when. But then, you know, same once again, as he always does, crept up in the tribes. 2222 on my time, on my clock. 2044 on my timer. Crept up in the, in, in the tribes and brought idols and things to worship. Put things in front of uh, other tribes that wasn't as close as the Levites to the Most High. But the Most High seen all of it. I mean, it's, it's always been some kind of war. But that was the whole point. You know, the most high, he's a, he's a, he's, he, he, he will war with you. He will war for you. He wars for you. He'll go in, he'll go in for you. Especially when he see that you like, you know, you're not trying to give in to the world. He'll go in. So, I mean, I'm just saying. You know, with the you, the 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 world has acknowledged the world. Okay, so eating the apple of the of the tree of good and evil, you acknowledge the fact that you're gonna be doing either right or wrong. And eating that apple was wrong. You see what happened to Adam and Eve in the Bible? Like they got literally got kicked out of the house for doing that. And for not trusting in the most high. Adam mostly because why would you listen to her when I be talking to you? Me and you be right there. You know, why would you listen to her? Not to say that, you know, the most high don't listen to women because he does. He does. He talks to women too. He talks to Sarah. He talk, He talks to Rebecca. He, he talks to all the matriarchs. He talked to every last one of them. But his ace, Boone Coon, you know what I'm saying? Abraham, Abram, his ace. That was his friend. You know, he went to, he'll go to bat for her. Not saying he won't go to bat for, you know, a matriarch or a woman, but he went to bat for Abraham. Like, straight up. Like, went. To a whole king and say, look, if you don't give him back his wife, I'm going to kill you. It was just that simple. I mean, I'm just saying, like, the knowledge of good and evil from that tree in the, and, in, and in these days, what I understand, because, you know, like I said, my, my, my false flame he ate of the tree. I did not eat of the tree. But in this day, like right now, he's living in the world of a part of the world. And however, you know, however he can get, however, whatever he can get. But me, I don't necessarily, I don't live in the world. I know I have to work in the world. And I just understand and I see the broader scope of pretty much everything that is the that is my understand like I understand what's going on and I choose not to indulge if that makes sense and the most high provides so oh then no I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and 24.47 on the timer.
22:26 on the clock. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.